For the culinary enthusiast in your life, you might want to try a DIY dumpling kit as a holiday gift. Yeah, and here with more on why this might be a great option for you in our Studio 41 kitchen this morning is Thirsty Dumpling founder Samantha Mui. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. All right, so you're making it so easy. There's right. no excuse as to why we can't make dumplings. Not at all. We're trying to make it super simple, straightforward, and most of all, fun. All right, so you okay. have the kit. The mm -hmm. whole kit. It's the all in there. Kit. Everything you need. All inclusive. We just don't include the meat and your favorite cooking oil for cooking the dumplings, but everything else is included. Okay. okay. Let's yep. get to work. Let's get to it. Okay, so first, um, we try to do everything with pre-made ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first one is the dumpling dough. And as you know, it's a big scary for a lot of folks. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it's like, ooh, we're handling dough. So basically here, what I've done is taking three tablespoons out of the original mix and to put it here to reserve so when we're um, rolling out our dough, we have some reserves for that. Okay, okay. But we have hot, half a cup of hot water, and basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in, and then we just mix it up, mm -hmm. and then we get it all shaggy, and then. Shaggy? Yeah, we get a shaggy, you know, you get this little shaggy texture, mm, okay. and then you basically just knead it for in for like two to three minutes until it's like nice into a ball. Okay. And then, so that's our first step. Okay. And then once we've done that, we're gonna head to the filling. So the filling is, is that, yep, yeah, that right dumpling there. mix over mm -hmm. there. And what I've done is we also have these um, liquid pouches in here. Yeah. And we've also included it into the uh, cabbage. We've also reconstituted this because this is um, air dried cabbage. So we're using fr um, the nutrients of the cabbage, but we're also reconstituting it. So we have to put hot water in it to okay. bloom it. And then the okay. flavor gets there. All okay. right. From there, we're gonna add a pound of meat. It could be a pound of meat, a it could be vegan meat, whatever it is, or a vegan substitute. So I'm gonna go ahead, just throw it in here. Oh, so you could use like a satay, you could use a tofu, you could use you could. chicken, you could use beef. Oh, but in this you case, could. you got pork. I okay. got pork, because that's the traditional way, but you know, honestly, you do whatever fits your taste bud. Okay. So okay. we're just gonna go ahead and mix that, and if I, someone can help me sure. mix this and And it has and all get the seasonings it. already has in there. Has all the seasonings, has all the flavors. All it is is that flavor pack with this liquid pouch, mm -hmm. hot water in, and you're all set. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. you are making it easy. <laughs> we're, we're making it easy, but we're gonna try to actually retain some of the dumpling process okay. where people really wanna learn like how to fold the dumplings. So here, okay. we actually have the dumpling dough over here. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is, I have a way to help with the process. Mm -hmm. So one, we can use a dumpling crimper, and we can just put this on top of here. Okay. And then once we're done, we could put the filling in here. Got it. And then we can crimp it. No, no. Oh, we can put it in here. Here first. Oh, yep, you yep. put it in there first. Yeah. Oh, it cooks okay. In there raw. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So I've mixed this up pretty good. Yep. So how much of this do I need? Just, just uh, maybe like half of that. A little Ooh. bit tiny. Or oh, half of that. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. it, you, you know, it, I, it this can, is what I learned. It, it can splits. burst really fast. Yes. It's a, because the, the dough is very. Uh, oh my goodness, you can make about a million dumplings out of here. Yes. Is that even less than that? 36 to be exact. They're, oh, 30, yes, okay. 36 yeah. to oh, be exact. Oh, 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 you're oops, good. The you're floor good. Is making a dumpling, sorry. We're good. <laughs> sorry. Perfect. Okay, is that enough? Yes, we can just do that to show. Perfect. And if anybody wants to crimp, I go crimp ahead. It. Okay. Perfect. And then if I could have a little filling here. Oh, or you can do it in, in yeah, your hand. In your hand, too. Yeah. Is that enough? Oh, a little bit more, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, this is where the, 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 the experience oh, comes. Oh, I didn't put yes. water in there. Exactly. Water That's perfect. Something? Nope, you don't need to because okay. it's fresh dumpling dough. Oh, so, so it's, it's actually enough. It's supposed to be sticky enough. Yep. Okay. There we go. And you can always pinch it mm -hmm. in. And then what I do over here mm -hmm. is as soon as it comes out, let me pull oh, so that you, out. I'm going to want to rip it already. Nope, you're good. So you got this, and then you're just going to like pinch it inwards to make sure it sits, sits properly. Got it, okay. Yep. And this can be, can be a great, nice uh, alternative to say a charcuterie board, Correct. if you wanna do a snack. If you wanna host a dumpling party at your home, you can just like buy this kit, do it at home, invite your friends. And another thing is too, we have a uh, manual over there that has all these video guides in there. So if you ever get stuck and you're like, I don't know if I'm doing it correctly, you can just go ahead and scan it. And every single process will show you how to do things. And it's, it's particularly- Step by step. Yes, exactly. I'd love that. Okay, and so from here, we're just yes. pan frying them? Yes, okay. so we just like, like we just quickly, I'm gonna do one folded one, okay. which you can actually get in our video guide. Oh, and how to I'm fold just, it by yep, hand. Yep. Learn it, fold it, and then we're just gonna go ahead, crimp it. We're gonna throw some hot oil in here. This? Yep. How much? Let me, let me put it lower. Yep. Just a good amount. Oh, are we yep. trying to fry it? Yes. Yep. So that's a two 
it's a two um, two cooking method where we're first. Oh, that's good. Uh, we're gonna fry it first and then steam it up. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, okay yeah. Yes. Fantastic. So we're gonna have a crispy pan fried bottom that's pot how sticker. You get, yes. Yes. And then you, you know steam the, you know the, the, you know the, the drill. Yep, no, I forgot. <laughs> All right. And then so yes. by the magic of TV, we actually have some done. Yes, we do. So you're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna lower it, the heat. And we're gonna close that. And then here is our fresh dumplings. Okay. And you can see we have these crispy bottoms. Yes. Right mm -hmm. here. So good. Juicy. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Yes. Good. Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right. Well, that's for the chef. We'll make sure we get all the information out here so you can uh, get these for yourself. Yeah, great party. Yeah, turn that down. Oh, it's off now. It is off now. Mm. Uh, get all the information for Thirsty Dumpling, thirstydumpling.com, and you can see all the social media handles on there, and uh, try it out for yourself. It's a great gift. Thank you so Thank much. You.